Hi there everyone, Tom Voyage here. Now in today's video we've got something a little bit different than reviewing pizza ovens because I have been sent this by Solo Stove. So this is a smokeless fire pit and in this video we're going to be unboxing it, firing it up and letting you know what we think. Let's go! So it's that time of year, summer's over, and you might be thinking of investing in a fire pit for Halloween or for bonfire night, which is coming up. So the folks over at Solo Stove have very kindly given me this fire pit to review. However, they've not paid me to do this review. They've not told me to say anything in the review. So it is gonna be my honest opinion of this fire pit. So before we open the box, let's look at some of the technical specifications. So the weight is 20 pounds or nine kilograms. The diameter is 19.5 inches. The height is 14 inches. The material is a 430 high grade stainless steel and the fuel it's designed to be used with is firewood logs. So let's see what's in the box. Now you may be wondering why I'm wearing gloves to do this unboxing and the reason for that is I've read with these solo stoves that if you get fingerprints, the grease from your fingers on the stove before you light it for the first time, that can actually leave marks and tarnish it. I'm not sure if this is true but I thought we'd best play it on the safe side and wear some gloves. So there's some instructions here on how to uh, set it up. So one of the things it does mention is to make sure that you don't have the fuel over the top because I think that prevents it from being able to be smokeless. So, let's remove this polystyrene ring. And then, so in here we've got uh, a card telling you about the Elemental series. Now, this oven comes in a range of different colors. The original ones were stainless steel colored, but now they've brought out a range of, uh, I think there's a black, a green, a red, and a blue. Um, they've given me the ash option, which actually I think is the best option. I really like the black color. Um, so yeah, I'll leave some links in the description if you wanna check out the website and see the other colors available. Next up, we have some information on how to set up your fire pit, also a QR code to help you get started. Now also in here is a protective case for the fire pit. This is gonna be great for moving it about if you're taking it to the beach or camping, or just if you want to store the oven safely. Then if we open up the top, you've got the top ring that goes on top of the fire pit. And then inside here, this is the stand that the fire pit sits on. It just raises the fire pit off the floor and it keeps that heat away from the base that you're cooking on. So yeah, this is a great addition. And now we'll get the fire pit out itself. Now this is actually quite hard to get out. So what I'll do is I'll put it on the table so we can take a better look. Okay, here it is. Look at this lovely black color. I really like that. So the oven itself, as we said, is nine kilograms. It wasn't too heavy to move up here. Taking a look at the inside, you can see there's the uh, airflow holes which help the secondary burn. So the ring goes on top here and then the whole fire pit sits on this stand here. just like that to keep it raised off the floor and safe from whatever surface that you're using to have your fire pit. Also just noticed in the bottom of the box, we've got a nice little sticker that it came with as well. That's quite cool. I do like a, a sticker. So here it is, the solo stove. Now the, the main thing or the main selling point with this um, fire pit is the fact that it uh, gives a very clean smokeless burn. Now the way it achieves this is with a dual wall design. Basically cold air comes in through these side vents here, up the inside of the wall and then out through the top. So what that gives is a secondary burn, meaning you get a second flame and that gets rid of all the smoke. So it comes with this ring that sits on top here. Now this is designed to keep the fire centered in the oven. It also flips upside down, which makes it great, nice and easy for storage, but it does say you have to have it the other way to use the fire pit for burning. Now the stand that it comes with under here, I thought was just to keep it up, but it actually helps with airflow as well. It helps direct the airflow underneath the oven so that it burns the stuff that's in the oven and comes out the top. 
Now, it's a really clever design, this, because it claims on the box that not only does it keep the floor cool that you're using, but it means that you can use it now on grass, on sand if you're taking it to the beach, or even on wood or PVC decking, which is a great addition for those of you who've got chairs and seating areas on decking, but still want the use of a fire pit. So looking at the inside of the oven here, you can see that there's lots of airflow holes for you to get um, a good flow of oxygen to your fire. And um, I did notice that this doesn't actually remove, so it might be quite difficult to clean your um, ash out once you've had a fire. I am aware though that there's a second version of this fire pit, which they have actually included a removable ashtray. So if you want more information on that, you can check the links in the description below. Now, just before we fire this thing up, I wanted to check how this bag fits the oven. Um, it feels like a really nice thick material and good quality. Um, so I think you put the uh, firing fits inside the oven like this. And then the top ring goes the other way up like that. So that was actually quite difficult because we've got it sat on this uh, tabletop here. But yeah, the oven goes in, everything goes inside, and there's still plenty of room in there as well if you wanted to take your unlit fuel with you on your trip. And this comes over the top, there's a drawstring, and your fire pit is ready to take to the beach with you. So up until now, the fire pit that I have been using has been this one. It's a chimney style fire pit. And as you can tell, it's uh, seen better days. I've had this one for about 10 years um, and it's okay. It kicks out a lot of heat when it's going. But the problem that I find is the smoke. When the fire starts to die down, you get tons of smoke coming out the front here and out the top. It just engulfs everyone around the fire. It's uncomfortable and it makes your clothes stink. So I'm really looking forward to see how well this solo stove performs. And I think for this one, it's time it went to the recycling center. Now I'm no expert when it comes to lighting fires, but uh, I'm basically just gonna use a couple of these fire lighters, get it started with some of this smaller kindling and then move on to these bigger wood chunks, build a little base in the bottom and see how things get started. And to light it, I'm just gonna be using this plumber's blowtorch because I can't find my uh, other one. So we'll put a couple of these fire lighters in to start with. These are the ones that I use for lighting the pizza ovens. And then just build a small tower of kindling to get us started. Now the wood that I'm using today is a mixture of oak and birch, but I think as long as you use any hardwood, it'll be absolutely fine. Now, just before we light this fire pit, if you have enjoyed the video, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you wanna check out my other videos, I do lots on outdoor cooking and pizza oven reviews and recipes. So go check those out as well. And if you've got any questions or comments, you can leave a comment in the comment section below. Right, let's get started. So you can see there that our oven is now lit. Um, there is a little bit of smoke coming off it. I guess that's just because it's not had a chance to do the secondary uh, burn from the airflow yet, but that's just as things are getting started. So as this progresses, we'll add some larger logs and um, yeah, we'll come back when it's uh, a full fire. So it's been around five minutes and I added some extra fuel. And as you can see, there is a little bit of smoke, but actually not much. Um, but I still think it's a bit too early for that secondary burn to heat up the air enough to uh, yeah, start the secondary burn. So I'm gonna leave it a few more minutes and see what happens. So we've been going for about 15 minutes now. I've added some more fuel. And as you can see, we're starting to get that secondary burn around the top ring here. Um, it's not completely smokeless, but it's far less smoke than you would usually see out of the normal chimney style. So much so, in fact, I've actually had to move away because it's uh, kicking out loads of heat at the minute. It's really, really hot. So yeah, I've uh, had to stand back a bit. But if I just move back and show you here, you can see that there is hardly, well, pretty much no smoke coming off that. So yeah, very happy with those results. Brilliant. So 
So thanks very much for watching my review on the Solo Stove Fire Pit. I hope you found it useful. Now I'd urge you to go and check out the Solo Stove website because they do tons of accessories from this, from a heat deflector to cooking options for it, carry cases. They've also got a full selection of fire pits ranging from ones that are bigger than this one all the way to your small tabletop ones. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe and please join us next time for more videos on outdoor cooking, pizza making and everything else. See you later.